Welcome. I just want to do a quick video talking about um, solving minimum speed uh, for objects moving in a circle vertically. Uh, this is kind of like a special case. Same old uh, um, like F net cause equals F net circle uniform circular motion tricks. Um, but there is a bit of a trick with this whole minimum speed idea. So just going over that. Now, here's the trick. If we've got a bucket, we're swinging over our head like this. We've got a bucket attached to a rope and we're just swinging it vertically. Um, we can spin it fast enough so the water will not fall out. Um, it'll only fall out if the required uh, net force uh, to keep it moving in a circle is um, more than gravity. So normally when you spin it around really fast, it'll all be good. Um, you will have some component of your net force provided by gravity and some of it provided by the rope. Um, and the water will just move along with the bucket if this is full of water um, and just follow the same path. And net force on it is just gravity plus however hard you're pulling on the rope. Now, you could um, swing it slower and slower and as you do, gravity is going to stay the same, but it's the amount you're pulling with the rope will get less and less um, until at the very minimum speed, you can spin this around without water falling on you. Um, you're not like the rope is completely slack at the top. It's just gravity pulling the bucket and water down. Um, and so in that case, that just tells us what our net force is. So at, at a, a higher speed, this is what causes the net force, but at the minimum speed, the, the rope force is not, the rope's not pulling at all. It's just gravity keeping it moving in a circle. Um, so uh, our net force, because the cause is just M times G, our net force, because uh, it's moving in a circle, since we're interested in the minimum speed here, we're going to use the mv squared over r formula rather than the m4 pi squared r over t squared. Um, do that, our masses cancel out, and uh, we end up with this kind of nice little formula, which will always be the case for the minimum speed on Earth and nothing weird going on. Uh, you can also do this with like roller coasters. If you wanted to create a roller coaster where you'd feel completely weightless at the top of a loop, uh, you could use exactly the same math. Um, so that is the whole trick. Uh, just at the minimum speed, your F net causes mg um, for whatever reason. Like in this case, uh, bucket, it's gravity plus the rope if at higher speeds and then it at the minimum speed is just gravity for a roller coaster it'd be kind of like the normal force of the rails pushing down or the seat pushing down on you um, plus gravity at the top but if you're going at the minimum speed it would just be gravity and uh, since you have no normal force at that point normal force is your perception of how heavy you are uh, so you'd feel completely weightless if you designed a roller coaster to um, be have you going at just this speed at the top might not be the safest. Uh, I'd say in general, they will maybe make you feel less heavy, but will generally not go fully like this unless they've got a heck of a safety system. Um, so that is the trick. I'll put a, also post a Damien Walters video, uh, who's a famous parkour guy, uh, and he does a, a relevant trick relating to this. I recommend you take a look. Thanks for listening.